Like most other events this year, CES 2021 is all virtual, happening in people's homes around the globe. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a ton of cool new tech to check out, including a Asus Tough gaming laptop that's extremely thin, extremely light, and comes with, for the first time, charging via USB-C. I'm Tom Brandt for PC Mag here in America, and with me is Sasha Krohn from Asus in Taiwan to tell us all about it. Sasha, take it away. All right, so our Tough Gaming series has been extremely popular over the years. Great price performance, the best bang for the buck. And uh, we're now expanding and adding a new model to our Tough family, and that's a slimmer, lighter, more premium Tough Dash. So it's only two kilos, only 20 millimeters, and uh, has a very nice sleek design. And there is a white version, which uh, all of us here in HQ are big fans of. <laughs> So I, I just want to mention that that two kilo mark is very important because um, for our, 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 our uh, viewers in North America, that's right about, um, that's right about four pounds, which, uh, which you know, is, is kind of on the border there between ultra portable laptops and those, those big, thick, chunky uh, gaming laptops uh, that you might have ha uh, seen from, from years past. So yeah, it's thin and light. Um, it's got two colors. Uh, what, are, what are some of the component options that you can configure at this new Tough Gaming Laptop with? So yeah, um, it comes with the latest Intel 11th Gen Tiger Lake CPU and latest NVIDIA mobile GPU. So a really powerful combination, very portable and still very powerful. Um, and yeah, despite being a price performance laptop and being surprisingly slim, you can see it still has a ton of I.O. Um, on the left side here, we have the power jack, one gigabit LAN, HDMI, USB, and a USB Type-C with Thunderbolt 4 and DisplayPort signal out, 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And on the other side, we got two more USB-A ports. So plenty of I.O. And uh, yeah, pretty impressive for a slim price performance laptop. Yeah, I mean, that looks great to me, especially in white. Um, it is, you know, a little thicker to accommodate those ports, but it does remind me of that, um, that other uh, gaming laptop that you guys debuted earlier last year with the with that really cool LED lid. Um, it really yes. looks uh, premium, um, so eager to check that out. Um, yeah, you can see the vent design in the rear is very similar to the G14, yeah. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about, the, the G14. It, it look, it's got that um, distinctive look there. Um, can you talk a little bit about the screen options? What kind of uh, screen technology can people expect? So it comes either with a 144 hertz panel or up to a 240 hertz, three millisecond panel with 100% sRGB. So panel wise, you can get a really top notch uh, gaming display in there as well. And the keyboard is 1.7 millimeter key travel with our nice hotkeys as well, you know, volume up, down, microphone mute, very useful these days and our Armory Crate launch button to configure the system. And it comes with an SSO finger, fingerprint uh, button as well. So SSO means single sign-on. So you press this button once, it captures your fingerprint and turns on the system. As soon as Windows load it, it then sends the fingerprint to the operating system to log you in. So you only have to press it once and it locks you right into Windows. Now, obviously, this has got the latest, um, as you mentioned, the latest NVIDIA uh, GPUs, but it also has that 11th gen um, uh, Intel CPUs that are mostly found in those thin and light ultra portable laptops. So is that going to impact game performance in any way? What are the, what are the types of uh, performance that people can expect from this in terms of gaming at you know, uh, full HD or things like that? That's a very good question. So yeah, um, we think that some people will definitely have concerns about this, but uh, you'll be surprised. I mean, once you guys get your hands on, you can test it, you'll see for yourselves as well. Um, everybody knows already that, you know, you don't really need eight cores uh, for games. And even though there are games that make use of eight cores, it doesn't mean you get really extra performance with eight CPU cores. Um, and even in the few games where you do, it's like two or three FPS, it's not a big difference. Um, everybody knows that for gaming, clock speed is super important and uh, high performance CPU cores are very important. And with this one, since it goes up to five gigahertz, so we co-engineered this with Intel. We worked very closely together with Intel and we managed to push this to five gigahertz 
um, within this really power efficient 35 watt envelope, which is uh, really impressive and yeah, uh, offers yeah. really good gaming performance. That is one of the things that uh, strikes me about the 11th generation CPUs. They do have those higher clock speeds, which, which you know, is kind of a departure from previous generations. So that uh, could help if your, if your game uh, can take advantage of those. But in general, this is the, the Tough Dash um, F15 is, is kind of look like a sweet spot gaming laptop in terms of price and performance, it seems like. But kind of my favorite thing about it, just looking at it now, is that white color scheme. I really, really like it. I think that more gaming laptops should have the option to not look uh, black and aggressive. Um, so definitely looking forward to checking it out once we get it in for review. But right now it is launching at CES 2021. And uh, we thank you very much, Sasha, for giving us that first look at the Tough Dash F15.